Okay, that's enough of those. Let's, uh, you want to try doing the pattern? I don't know what we're going to get. Probably only a little 1,200 feet, which is only 100 feet, so we'll have 400 AGL. I'd like to get some quick stops in. Okay, do you want to do that on the runway or here? Yeah. Uh, let's, let's request full length maneuvers, the length of uh, one of the runways. Okay. Helicopter 014 requesting full length maneuvers either runway. Helicopter 014. Runway 25 left, winds 24024, altimeter 29 or 44. Helicopter 014. So, you need to read back what runway he gave you okay. and the instructions on that one. Okay. Helicopter 014, left traffic for uh, 25 left. Hold on. Let's do a steep approach. Alright. Uh, picture, you got your angle right there, I'd say, yep. is you're good. Now you're gonna be jockeying that collective today a little bit more with the wind. Then remember what we talked about earlier for your spot. Once we get in about 50 feet, look beyond it. Like probably almost now, or above 50 feet, but it looks like you're getting a little shallow. There we go. Don't fixate on the spot. Peripheral vision. Right now, look beyond your spot. I'm looking three cracks above the five. You were wanting to push down and get shallow and then come up to it. Just hold that angle. Hold short, taxiway, Charlie, or Bravo, whatever this is. What am I doing? Holding short. Off you go. Let's do a steep approach again. Helicopter zero one four. All right, get your 300 AGL. That's looking like a good angle for a steep approach. Yep. Got that sight picture, keep that. Then we got a walking pace over the ground, looking good. That walking pace. Now you're looking a little bit beyond your touchdown point. There we go. Keep slowing down. Think about your rate of closure. And to do that at this point, you can just yeah, keep pulling in a little bit of pitch. Don't get shallow. Good. Keep that walking pace. Slowing it down. All the way to the ground. Better? What'd you think? Yeah, I thought that was good. Alright, I'd like to get in a couple straight and out of rotations. Okay. So you can work on your tight picture, okay? Because we got a really stiff headwind, so. Let's see how far we'll glide. Our ground speed is a whopping 38 knots, 43 knots. So think about where your sight picture would be normally, probably about right there with zero wind. Right. So it's gonna come further down. Or about right there. Three, two, one. Catch the runs. Oh wow, we're not even gonna make it. Holy smokes. There. Gently. Rolling up. Build into it. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, the, the flares are super easy on days like today, yeah. huh? <laughs> All right, now we're 300 feet short of our spot, so accommodate for next time. And I was totally wrong as well. There are a couple methods you could have used to extend out your glide there, but. Ooh. 
I, do I use those that low? No. But the basic concept, if I'd been higher, would have been to speed up and, and reduce the uh, RPM, or you could have right? Just, yeah, just went faster. You're sacrificing altitude to drop the nose and pick up some airspeed. Kind of a judge judgment. Okay, so it was just above the instrument panel. I'm okay. Oh. So Time to flare. Rolling up. A little bit high. Bubble. To hover. We're closer. Closer. Yeah, it's probably going to be just above your feet right there on the yep. end of the bubble. Yeah, they flared just a tad high on that one. Okay. No, we don't have too much ground was speed the flare to bleed off. Was the flare too aggressive? Oh, I like the flare just okay. initiated a little bit too, too high. high. Okay. Three, two, one. Time to flare. Level. Raise. Don't drift backwards. Take into that. Take into account the wind. All right. We don't have. If we didn't have an engine. That would not be good. <laughs> but you hit your spot. I thought we were going to overshoot it for a long time. <laughs> I was wondering about. <laughs> but I was wondering about the best turns. I'm thinking, wow, you're really. <laughs> Gonna be ruined for the R22 when I get done with this. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so the drill is this is the same except at um, 100 feet. 200 feet AGL. 200 feet. We make sure we're stabilized, and then we roll it into deep end. You got it. Three, two, one. Detent. Thank you. Okay, you got a little bit slow, so start a nice flare. Level. And race. Whoa. Okay, so you were 60 knots. No ground run, though. <laughs> so much wind. Do it again. Okay. And then we're kind of overshooting our spot. And the wind might have died down a little bit or whatever. One of the variables changed. I would think it was the wind. Stabilized. Dead. Don't bleed off that airspeed. I'm there. Level. All right. Want to do one more? Sure. All right. was kind of sloppy and I had too much forward speed uh, after the flare. Yeah. I was also really slow to react. It's all right. It is catching you off guard. Oh, but that's the whole point, right? Yeah, kind of. But normally you'd see a truck or something. Right. 
a deer, a moose, plane, building.